The first four years in the White House, Laura Bush sat in a stupor, <laughs> staring out into the middle distance, muttering to herself, oh, George, I don't know how we've ended up here. I want to go back to the ranch, smoke my Newports, wear my Birkenstocks, sit on chintz couches and chit-chat with my girlfriends. Honey, the second term came around and she busted out, marching into New York City like a grand diva goddess bitch, <laughs> hanging out with Oscar de la Renta in his atelier, wearing Carolina Herrera in coral, breezing through the park, enjoying the gates, the museums, the fine dining. I said, hold on a minute, sister. You take yourself and those two tube top wearing, taquito munching, beer and tequila swizzling, Texas longhorn hooking daughters and beat it. You are not welcome in our fair city where you pass judgment. You can't have it both ways. Go back to your people. Listen to Christian broadcast and enjoy a casserole. I can't believe this woman is as stupid as she pretends to be. It's bad enough that the men are so horrible and Machiavellian, but for the women to stand by, never has a first lady brought less to the table than our present woman. She is unbelievable. I mean, forget Eleanor Roosevelt or Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy, who brought in Pablo Casals to play in the White House with her gorgeous husband wearing Halston. I mean, it was OTT glamour. Pat Nixon in a good cloth coat brought more to the picnic than this broad. Now, we have a first lady who goes to Africa and tells the people to practice abstinence, that AIDS is an affliction. Honey, please, are those two daughters, are they practicing abstinence? I want to see their gynecological records because if they're not, they don't get any birth control. They don't get the morning after pill. And if they contract an STD, too fucking bad. You live by the sword, you die by the sword, you two show ponies. Don't you come to New York City during the election and throw shade at Bungalow 8. And then when it's over, you disappear again. You go join the fucking Peace Corps. You do something for mankind. You two ingrates, you lazy little slutty bitches. I wish you could see this picture. A small black child looking up in terror. Looking ahead, Laura Bush addressed a class called Passport to Manhood yesterday at the Boys and Girls Club in the Germantown section of Philadelphia. Mrs. Bush, who sat next to Bill Law, Lawton 14, plans to focus on the developmental needs of adolescent boys in her second term as first lady? This is rich. She couldn't pull together that coke whore alcoholic husband until he was 40. She thinks these kids are going to listen to her crazy ass. And she insists on going into the inner city to read to the children. Ooh, there comes that crazy white lady. Well, I'm still reeling from the last election. I guess we chose the wrong person. I was out at JFK, the old American Airlines terminal with my daughter and my girlfriend, and we saw John Kerry go up the escalator. I said, I love you, John. Keep fighting the good fight. We're here for you. I said, wait for the luggage, girls. I'm running up to the Admirals Club. I can't miss this opportunity. Oh, I'm a member. Sometimes I join with Miles. Sometimes I pay. I walked in and it was a zelig moment. There he was, hunched over an open briefcase, a bowl of soba noodles, leaving a message on his cell phone. It's for the Reverend Jesse Jackson about the vote count in Ohio. I thought, oh my God, we've turned it around. We've won after all. And then he looked up at me and I nervously introduced myself. Hi, I'm Sandra Bernhardt. I campaigned for you throughout the election. He goes, well, that's great. I'm busy. I said, well, no wonder you didn't win, you arrogant prick. <laughs> Fuck you, Abe Lincoln, big-headed, look-alike motherfucker. I didn't want you to begin with. I wanted Howard Dean, you pussy loser spineless fuck up <laughs> then I grabbed a handful of pretzels and I stormed out <laughs> of course his wife was divine wouldn't you know it I could have fallen into the arms of Mama T and openly wept <laughs> now when she spoke at the Democratic Convention it was electrifying I am Maria Teresa Therenstein Samoas Feria Heinz Carey and I can say it in seven different languages. As a child growing up in Mozambique, I saw the children starving, begging, crying out, and I thought to myself, I never want to be a part of it. <laughs> My father, a physician, took us traveling around the world to see how governments operated. It brought me to New York for my first job to become an interpreter at the UN where I met my husband. We went to Pittsburgh, we made it green and lush and filled with nature. Look at me tonight so she can understand the way I throw my Hermes silk scarf around my shoulders without a care or a thought. They try to imitate me with their cheap, tawdry fabrics. Tch. I am a passionate woman. I love to eat. I love sex in small boutique hotels around the world. And they try their tomfoolery, their trickery, and, and try to get me to do these lady home journal bake-offs with pumpkin spice versus chocolate chip. Who the hell has time for cooking? I'm running multinational corporations for Christ's sake. And as I stand here tonight with an open heart, honestly looking at you, and I say, if we should lose this election, and if I have anything to do with it, we surely will. <laughs> I will take John by the hand. I say, come with me, darling. We get on the private jet. We go to Stad. We take salt glows and massages and mud baths. I never wanted to live in that White House, that shithole. Forget about it. <laughs> Woo! 
better be home. Oh, oh, oh. It's there you are. Do you have that plaque I asked you to pick? Uh, do you think I have the plaque? What you think? You sent me to go get it, so what you think? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What you think? I you think, think you I will come back without the plaque? Well, I got the plaque. And you can just go get it yourself. Yeah. What? But it's right there. Just, just give it to me. Why can't you do it? You're right there. You can pick <laughs> it up. <laughs> you're my maid, so like, uh, uh, here you go. Here you go. Thank you, maid. You're welcome, bitch. <laughs> I can't wait to look for the help center sees my plaque. Let me give you the speech I wrote for you. Hmm. Are you correct? Louise Jefferson and presenting this plaque to the world's worst maid, Florence Johnston. That's you. She mm -hmm. is terrible, mm -hmm. she does not clean, and she makes my life miserable. So this is for you, Florence. Mm -hmm. See, it has your name mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, mm -hmm. what? Why does this say Helen Willis? I guess she's your worst maid, huh? What, what? what the hell is supposed to have your name on it? Well, that does not say Florence Johnston. Wait, wait a minute, you did this, didn't you? Weezy, why in the hell would I do that? Weezy. Ooh, you sue, you stupid. Where's my gun? What you gonna do with it? Hmm? Hmm? Bring it, Weezy. Bring it. He's a dumb bitch. Ha 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 Weezy, now, what, what you got the, you, you pissing me off oh, what? Weezy, yellow pages? Um, yes, I'm gonna read the yellow pages. I'm gonna start at A. I'm gonna go to C. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm gonna have a nice long read. Do you uh. mind? I'm a lady of leisure. That's what I do. You know what? You're the dumb bitch reading the yellow pages. What? A dumb bitch reading the yellow pages. That's what I said. Now, you want this uh, finger? You better get your finger. See my finger? You see it? See oh, it? You what? You'll fuck me up. Yeah, I'll fuck you up. Looking like a gay sailor. You know what? what? Come here, Donald Duck. What you doing? Who you looking for? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, well, I'm calling my crew so we can fuck you up. You can fuck me up in this tiny ass apartment. <laughs> I laugh. No, oh, man, I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, okay. That's fine. My apartment may be small, but it has a fabulous view. Because yep. I'm rich. And that's rich? What you do. See this fist? I'm about to fuck you up. Look what I got on. Mm. Pepto. Pepto. Gay sailor. What you gonna do, bitch? What you gonna do? I'm not about to mess up. Mark it out. What you gonna do? This tiny ass apartment. Clean your teeth out, bitch. I don't have time for shit. What the hell? You got time for anything. You gonna do shit? I'm not about to mess up my hair and my shoes for Gucci. You ain't got a job. What you gonna do? You got cleaners. You take your shirt there, your shoes there. Let me, let me get my niggas. I'm gonna call my crew. Niggas moving on up and get on my fucking nerves. Shit. You, you just wait on the second show. Moving up my nerves, that's what you're doing, really. This tiny ass probably got it made. What the you fuck you need to make? The, uh, what the hell? Hello, hi, hi Ralph. Can you come up here? We got a bitch we need to fuck up. Yeah, hello, hello. Yeah, and get Mr. Bentley. Get Mr. Bentley and Mother Jefferson. And Jenny. And, and, and both Fuck Jenny! Fuck Mother get Jefferson! Bring them! You know bitch! What? Never mind. I'm gonna have to show you all this bitch. The women is trying to Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You don't want mm -hmm. me. I want it. Yeah. No, I don't. Bring it, bitch. You gonna fuck me up in the streets. Oh, well, you know, I was always rich. Oh, really? You're not rich now. You just live in this tiny ass apartment. What the fuck? Can't afford nothing else? You got how many cleaners you got? Six? Fuck you, we got seven. Oh, we that? We that? I got the bones farm, you ordered strawberry hills. Yes. George, you know this bitch got me fucked up. Mm. I'm scared of I got you fucked up, bitch. You got me fucked up. You know what? You got one more time to say some smart ass shit. Bitch. Bitch. It's gonna be me and you. Bitch, I'm gonna me and show you that tie.